Hey Greyhounds, I'm Gianni, and here's morning announcements. Lyman Technology Student Association, TSA, competed in the SAINT Conference over the weekend. Congratulations to Owens and Miski, TSA president, and his team, who placed ninth overall out of 30 high schools. First place in Technology Bowl, Lance Harmon, Dylan McCarthy, and Nick Sides. First place in on-demand video, Chad Brown, Warner Duchesne, and Neil Matthews. E Elliot, Elliot McGowan, and Bruce Dallas and Nick Sings. Second in biotech design, Abigail Dominica, Sam Prulox, and Asma Sanella. Second place in fashion design, Abigail Dominica, Alana Negron, and Story Salonik Hayes. Second place in photographic technology, Story Salonik Hayes. Third place in solar in the solar sprint, Chad Brown, Michael McKnight, Alana Negron, and Alex Alonzo. Place top 10 in architectural design, Nathan, H Nathan Hinkle, Braden McMichael, Emmett Rice, Bruce Sala, Jada Taylor, and Madison Xavier. In coding, Josh Everdeen Wallach and Owen Zemiski. Debating technologies, Zach Gordon, Zan Prulock, oh, Zach Gordon and Sam Prulock. Software development, Josh Everdeen Wallach, Catherine Kong, Connor McCarthy, Abigail Nayron, Owen Zemiski, and Logan Will. And video game design, Joshua Bravut, Josh Everdeen Wallach, Catherine Kong, Emmett Rice, Owen Zemiski, and Robert Joes. And webmaster, Josh Everdeen Wallach, Catherine Kong, Abby Nairon, Val Rojas, and Owen Zemiski. Lyman's Drunk Cup, Janisa, Val Cotter, Joshua Bravut, Josh Everdeen Wallach, Lance Harmon, Emmett Rice, Robert Santos, all participated in the first ever TSA drone competition. Congratulations to all student participants and to Dividend and co-sponsor, Heaven Esteban, for which TSA would not exist without, without her. Lyman Track is back. Congratulations to all the boys and girls track teams for their outstanding performances at the Seminole Invitational last weekend, which featured some of the best teams in the state. The Seminole High School meet features almost every team in the country, in the county, <laughs> and is one of the best meets of the year. Leading the way were the three relay teams that all scored. Starting off the meet was the 4x800 team of Aiden Armstrong, Deron Simmons, Jalen Stoke, Jalen Sojic and newcomer Keno Parchment. Up next was the 4x100 team of Noah Beanson, Jaden Richardson, Juju Prime, and a blistering anger by D Draymond Grimes. Closing out the great night was an exciting 4x400 team of D Draymond Grimes, Kramari Simmons, Parchment, and Richardson. All scored the team records for the year. And the boys' field events, the Simmons brother, Kramari, and Duran led the way in the shot. Discuss and Javelin with the Troy with Troy Lane in the long jump. Running out the field events for the boys was the top high jumper, freshman Gregory Pritchard. Not to be undone, not to be outdone on the girls' side. Nailani Norfleet leads the way both in the 100 and 200, with Alia Cortez close behind. Jemiah Simpson led the way in the field events, scoring all three throwing events. The shot, the discuss, and the javelin. Great job to all the guys and girls, and good luck as you become part of the great Lyman tradition. Next up, Freshman and Software Championships, March 8th. The Black American Culture Club and Young Women, Young Men and Women, women of Excellence had a very successful Sands of, The Sands of Immortality production last Friday. It was a great honor to thank all the participants, including Mr. Hunter, Ms. Goodrich, and their administration for their continued support. Ms. Romelia Jet Ram, sorry if I messed up your name, for making the costumes, Ms. Porter and the Lyman Diamonds for their outstanding performance. Ms. Harding, for his dynamic chorus displaying their beautiful voices, and Mr. Muse, the highly talented Lyman Drumline giving a great performance. Ms. Gerdeman and the exceptional, the exceptional theater students for using their impeccable skills for the production of the play. They were Ryan McBuccaneer, Delina, Delina Fraylin Diaz, Shania Passmore, Joshua Arena, I'm sorry for messing up your name, Joshua Arena, Grace Bonaventure, Cyrus Gross, Anna Ortega, and Elizabeth Pellant, and to all the BACC students who participated in the production and offered their time and talent to put on a great show. Thanks to Aiden, Christine, and Alex Walters, Reese Nelson, and Alex Alec Matosh, Matosh, for the video support. Thank you to Mr. Samuel Davis for being the best follow we could ask for. And special thanks to the BACC sponsors, Mr. Mrs. 
Archibald, Mr. Knight, and Mrs. Thomas. We are very grateful to the teachers who brought their classes to the event. With all your efforts, we're extremely thankful. Lyman Art students will participate in the Lake Mary Heathrow Festival of the Arts this weekend. The festival is in Colonial Town Park at 950 Market Promen Market Promenade Way, Lake Mary. The festival is open Saturday and Sunday until 4. Reminder, anyone who is in the spring sport should report to the gym immediately after school to take your team photo. Students enrolled in the after school player program, please mark your calendars. There will be no school March 2nd, Thursday. We will continue to have class every Tuesday and Thursday before and after March 2nd. Just no class on March 2nd. If you need to have a new course open or to continue working, please see Ms. Naris or Ms. Goodridge during the school day. And lastly, seniors. March will be the business month for the scholarship application. The Almond Family Character Scholarship and Promoting, Prosper Promoting Prosperity Scholarship are due Friday on March 3rd. Don't be late. Check the updates in the Lyman Scholarship calendar. It's under Student Services and Money Colleges. Money for Colleges. Check your school email regularly for scholarship updates by, sent by Ms. Lee. Don't let any scholarships pass you by. That's all for today. Have a great, great Hyundai. Yo, Doc, can I use the bathroom? You need to wait the 10 minute class period time. Let's make sure you before and after class. So have a seat and let you know the 10 minutes is up, okay? Calling all fall and winter sport senior athletes. If you are interested in being interviewed for the senior video about your final season at Lyman, come to the TV room off the library on March 1st, immediately after school. We will be asking you about your most memorable moment of the season. Come to the TV room, room 07-103K on Wednesday, March 1st, immediately after school. No one likes to feel left out. No one wants to be alone. March 1st is a Special Olympics Spread the Word Day for Inclusion. On March 1st, during both lunches, you can sign the banner pledging to be inclusive. There will be rubber armbands that say pledge to include that will be given out. This is more than a chance to get a bracelet. It's a chance to change a life. Remember, March 1st, spread the word. Inclusion. Hey Greyhounds, on March 3rd we will be celebrating winter and spring sports with a pep rally. The theme will be Jersey Day, so wear your favorite team jersey. Winter and spring sport athletes, wear your Lyman team jersey. The spirit bone will be awarded to the class that does the best roller coaster cheer. So lock in, throw your hands in the air, and show us your best ride. <laughs> Attention students, the ASVAB is coming to Lyman. The ASVAB, or Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, is a test used to determine your areas of interest. This can lead to knowing what you should study in college or pursue as a career. Even though it is given by the military, you are under no obligation to enlist. You must be 16 years old to take the test which will be given on March 27th. Scan the QR code on screen and complete the Google form to sign up. Get a head start by finding out what you should study or possibly do in your future.